Hello and welcome back to my channel and today we're taking a look, look at the hood which basically means we are playing as Robin the hood with a hood in case you didn't catch so what this game is is basically kind of like an uh, online multiplayer slash pvp slash pve title uh, which you can actually get for free at least it was for free on epic store and what you do you guessed it you play as robin hood now this game is something that is very similar to assassin's creed series you have your character with uh, certain abilities certain skill tree and you are able to accomplish very simple tasks however this game is simply basically made for co-op experience now we are just starting this game and let me just walk you through the settings here so obviously we're going for the full uh, 4k native uh, everything on full minus uh, vertical sync and actually the motion blur it it keeps enabling i mean it's just persistent everything else is uh, maxed out and honestly this game's engine is maxed out at 62 frames per second which uh, is not surprising considering this is an online title so basically as fast as your broadband is the better the game area will load if that makes sense so we just started the game there's a little intro mission at the very beginning that kind of gives you a very quick overlook of your abilities and how to use certain things which i have forgotten already so what we have to do is finish the hideout training so first and foremost we need to visit the training area then we have to complete a heist so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing so we're gonna head all the way over to the practice and uh See if we're able to do it. Let's see what we get. Now the game itself is quite simple. Uh, you have some special abilities. You have your regular classes. You have four characters to choose from. You have Robin, Mariana, John and one other weird dude that's not from the story. But basically you are kind of playing through the roleplay of the Robin the Hood. So yeah, let's see how we get on here. So we need to steal the vault key which is being uh, held by the sheriff. There's a couple ways to do it, but basically the whole thing is you kill the enemies, you steal the vault key, you steal the vault, and then you defend it until you can extract it. So as you can see, we have the objective of pickpocketing the sheriff. So what we're going to do is... Just make sure that our target goes to sleep quickly and nicely here. Obviously there's a lot of takedown uh, options available, also you can use stealth to sneak around. So those who have played previous Assassin's Creed titles should feel right at home. Time to see how this works against helmets. And apparently an arrow through the helmet is no issue for our boys, so let's just keep moving on. Now, locating the sheriff is a little bit of a tricky thing, so we kind of need to be mindful of that. Also, we have two enemies right here. So, some sort of operator tactic is required to actually achieve the objective. The game is not exactly ground level. You can actually utilize some of the vertical options if the game allows you to. And honestly, it's kind of shy of doing that. Now, combat is not advised at least not with this character our character which is robin hood is kind of long range sniper one so you need to keep that in mind when you attract or attack your enemies Now we do have a special attack uh, waiting for us, but uh, we kind of need to sneak our way around. Now obviously this is kind of like a training mission give or take, which uh, basically allows you to explore and obviously the penalty is a little bit more than you would usually get in an actual raid or heist. At the same time, it's not exactly as easy peasy as you would think. Let's just see if we can uh, sneak our way around this. 
The controls are quite simple, uh, no actual science required. The levels are pretty open, so if you actually played Splinter Cell and you transitioned over Assassin's Creed or you had your experience with those games, you should be more than enough for that. One left. Now the biggest problem, however, is the actual sheriff. Now the sheriff is the big boss, and he cannot be taken down easily, so you need to plan your approach. Now the problem is you kind of need to find the guy first. And this is a big castle. Now, however, the game kind of helps you figuring out where things are, so I think we can just go for a little ritual here. Handy. And that looks like our guy over there with the key we need to steal. Now, when it comes to the stealing the keys, you kind of need to switch between the characters. Now, depending on a character you pick, you might be easy or hard to actually get the key. Mariana has the option to render herself completely invisible, so that's one of the things. Your eyes open. Oh. I need help! <laughs> 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 And that's what happens when you try hand-to-hand -hand combat with a non-close combat character. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna respawn and try again. Honestly, this was the first time for me doing this training, so it kind of just shows the Robin is more like a long-range sniper than a CQC operator. Now, there was a, a prompt for an ass assassination, which I missed, but uh, hey-ho, I mean... You know, end of the day, it's just a game, who cares. Let's see if we have our regular suspects patrolling around, and if yes, uh, we can actually probably just play around and take them on. See how much armor they actually carry. And he's not as precise as I expected him to be, but hey ho. I mean, he's not precise at all. Less attention. Last one. Need to find arrows. Perfect. You carry only seven arrows with you, and you're wondering why you're being attacked. Well, that kind of proves the point how useless this character is, unless he's providing support from afar. Uh, weapons wise every class and well basically kind of have like four characters. They all have their ultimate ability and certain weapons Robin is probably one of the ones who's only got bow and arrow so you can just imagine how that goes Luckily you can pick it up from a crate like these So now we can withstand the attack if we're lucky And they can block it so we have to run away, but now we know where the chest is They have at least four guys in pursuit, which is not good for us. We should be able to have our ultimate uh, relatively soon, unless we die first. Which might be the case, actually, assuming my playstyle. Last one. And I missed one of that. And we got KO'd. Anyway, now we know where the uh, where all those enemies are, so we can actually go in. Luckily for us, this as an online game, it actually saves your progress, uh, nevertheless, and also this is a training mission. So now we can plan our approach and know that this character is rather useless unless you have a range. Now, you could argue that there's no secondary weapon that you can use if you, uh, you run out of arrows. But that kind of goes for you actually... Silent approach. If you get into the problems here. 
Now, my biggest concern is the guy at the top need. because he actually downed me before. So again, obviously, since you're gonna be going through the raids and stuff, you will know stuff. You will know where everything is. Let's go and say hello to that sniper real quick. For the Well, as you saw, after a couple of fails, we're actually in a good place now. So you can go and sneak up to this dude. Now, sneaking is a big part of this game, obviously. But uh, at the same time, I wouldn't say that I'm too subtle about it. These will come in handy. You can tag locations, which I just did uh, unintentionally, which is like this. Since you're playing in co-op, you can actually coordinate your movement with the other players. So yeah, I guess that's a good thing. So now you can slowly move up and clean out the rest of the thing. I don't know, that's basically it about this game. Now, this game was actually shipping prior without about 20 quids. So... That's roughly, what, $24, $25? And for being a guy who shoots arrows, I think that's a pretty decent price, give or take. There's quite a few of them over there, so I don't think it's a good idea to attack them right now. Now, when it comes to free climbing or parkour, um, options are quite limited. You can only use the rope, really. So, if you wanna spice up your gameplay, I guess you just need to kind of curb your enthusiasm a little bit. So yeah. Basically, if you played Thief, uh, the Dark Shadow, you probably will be okay, considering the mechanics are quite, quite the same. I never played Thief, for a simple reason, I just thought that, you know, it's a little bit uh, on a stealing stuff oh, angle, but hey-ho. But now we have claimed the garrison, so we can actually respawn there, which I do believe is actually best of both worlds. Also, we have the special unlocked uh, already, so we can actually go ahead and start the hunt. Last arrow. You can't hide forever. The killer out there. Whoever they need to find arrows. The states are alerted. And that's the sheriff. Now, stealing the key from the sheriff is a little bit of a chore. It's still possible. I've never done it with the Robin character because on the intro mission that you get, you kind of swap between four different characters, which will help you out a very big deal. So I'm thinking if actually waiting for my ultimate to charge up will actually help me in any way. But then again, we might just let ourselves loose and, you know, sling some arrows right, left, and center. Get them, fucker. I'll find you. Fucking kill them. 
Now the sheriff is the one thing you cannot actually take down really, which is a little bit of a shame. Apparently he's this one big tank. So if you want to take him down, you kind of need to be very careful. Now he's not really good as a target. Like even if I sneak, he probably gonna suspect me or find me. So that's one of the problems. Also getting the key is only one of the problem indefinitely. Once you get the key, you need to find the chest, unlock the door, steal the chest, carry it to the location. Shit, they know. And then basically you need to extract the chest, which means that a lot of people will come looking. So since we are now alerted the whole garrison, I do believe you need to just uh, sit here for about half a minute, see what happens. So when it comes to the skill tree of the Robin, there are certain skills you can actually achieve or acquire during the gameplay. So definitely keep an eye out for that once you reach a certain level. So I would say the progression so far looks like it's about uh, five levels. So once you reach five levels, you're actually kind of good to go. But I might be completely wrong, to be honest. So don't take my word for it. The graphically, this game actually looks pretty decent. I mean, I like the lightning and the atmosphere, but nice. I don't know. This game is so concentrated on co-op. You know, when you play, let's say, any game that requires certain class to help you out, this game kind of shines out that without a certain class, it's kind of hard to do the objective, really. At the same time, there is a PvP mode as well. You can match make with other players. You can play against other players. But end of the day, you're kind of on your own if you play solo, so I would say it's a good thing. The game that actually forces you to play in co-op is a good thing for 2022, but if you're not really a solo guy, then I would say this is the title for you. Clearly hear the sheriff coming. So hopefully we will actually get our ultimate before he walks over here. And we'll try to stay behind him. And basically just steal the key. See if he notices a dead body. Damn, the state are aware. Yep, there's two. There's a killer out there. Find them. Okay, so now we know the NPCs actually do have an idea about bodies laying around, so that's a good thing for us. Now the problem is we do not know where those guys went. Just what I needed. Obviously my character is level 1, so I don't really have any tricks up my sleeve. It's more about sneak and stealth, which uh, to be fair, in my hands is kind of lost cause, really.
I do believe every time the sheriff actually discovers a dead body, he will raise an alarm. So we need to circle him and see if we can pickpocket him real quick. Now, when it comes to stealing the chest, this is where the game actually gets a little bit difficult. So you need to actually take the chest onto a boat, which requires using a winch. So if you don't use a winch, you can't lift the chest. While you're using the winch, you're having waves of enemies. So this is where the co-op element come into play. Two people can lift a chest faster than one. And if four people are playing, then two are lifting the chest and two are holding off the people who are coming to retrieve the chest, including the sheriff really. So it's a little bit of a date for that. Now the NPCs don't really seem too alarmed about the fact that, you know, they Steve discovered the dead body. And I'm kind of wondering if we can actually sneak up to this sheriff and quickly pickpocket him because he's quite a, kind of slow, really. Stay vigilant. But then again, I don't know. Outlaws. How good he is at. Noticing things. Let's see if we can quickly. Pocket him from behind. Keep your eyes open. Excellent. So, the battle tank has been robbed. So, we need to find a dining hall. Which I would assume, assume is somewhere in this area here. Let's go the scenic route. I have no idea where the dining hall is. This looks like a church or something, so... Garrison Keep... Plaza. Maybe there's a spot we can actually claim here. It's a church! There we go. We own this. So, encampment. I'm not sure we're in the right place, so let's uh, make our way around real quick and see what we can get. Now, the stability of the game is actually pretty decent, uh, specifically looking that we're playing on 4K native, but uh, honestly, I don't think you will be losing too much if you play in full HD, to be honest. I'm not sure where the in the keep. So we need to go over uh. there. I heard something. Who's that? The sound design is pretty much on point though. Stay alert. Let's see if we can circle these boys real quick. And go through there. Keep your eyes open. We have 22 minutes left to actually retrieve the chest, so I'm kinda thinking of making my time out of it. Stay vigilant. The keep is that way. Yeah, it's good to know. <sighs> keep an eye out for all the ropes Alert. that you can climb up. Yes, we have some additional things here, but hey ho. So we found the keep. Got it. Now we need to find the chest, which is usually in a locked up position, so let's go downstairs, see if there's any secret chambers we can unlock.
in a training mission it actually was like in a golden glowing stuff so I'm kind of hoping for that to happen but hey It's not here. Let's go on the second floor. If there's anything to loot, really. Probably the top of the tower. Who knows? I heard something. Let's get that vault open. You can't hide forever. He kind of figured it out. Just retreat for a second and hide ourselves if we can. We have two arrows and nowhere to refill them, so that's gonna be fun. Get back in patrol. At least now we know who we're up against, so the first thing in order is to find actually arrows. I'm not sure if the game difficulty is like this, but uh, so far it kinda looks like it. Also, you can retrieve the arrows from downed enemies. But then again, that's not really a viable option because we did walk over a body recently. And we did not recover any of the arrows, so... <sighs> we just need to be careful, which I'm not really good at. Last one. Just recovered an arrow, so we can actually go for this guy over here. We're gonna go and meet him uh, halfway, I guess. Not having any guards on our tail is probably the best course of action anyway. One left. And the one left probably is the purple armored one. Which I would love to blow up with our ultimate, but as you can see the ultimate is actually kinda slow and recharge. Also it looks like every time they go on a on a high alert they spawn enemies, so that's not really an option for us as well. I'm not sure if we can assassinate him if we're very close nearby, but I think it's uh, kinda a good idea to try. Really depends. If he's coming up for the shot, we might actually take the shot from a safe distance. Again, Robin is a character for long range combat, so don't go up close and personal, but if you can have some distance, that's still better than nothing. Last arrow. Last arrow and the last guy. We just re resumed. We, we got like three arrows. And this is where the team play kinda comes into play really. Get them. So yeah. You've 
better stay hidden. I'll fucking kill you. Well, it looks like the sheriff is pissed. As you can see, I need to retrieve the chest, escape this place, and go over to either the woodland bridge, the town, or to the encampment. So I don't know. We're gonna see which one of these options we can actually get to. Obviously, the sheriff is actually as fast as we are, so we might have a chance. Let's see if we walk down here, what do we get? Some guards. Let's hope they're not gonna notice a hooded guy just carrying a chest, really. Now, obviously you might think we're out of the woods, but really, we're not. Also, these guys just noticed us, so that's not good. That worked very well in our favor, but we're not out of the woods yet again. Let's circle around, see if we can get a better angle on the guys who are chasing us. I can hear the sheriff's armor around. Also, the gate is closed, so that's good to know. These guys look like to be tough as nails, really. Last one. You can't hide forever. Out of arrows. Just what I needed. So yeah, this is basically the game itself. As you can see. It's quite challenging and I do believe there might be some replay value or if you get this game for free you could actually enjoy it but at the same time it might just be very simple but hey ho and the AI seems to be quite not smart when you look at it And magical armor that does not allow to be penetrated. So yeah, I guess this was what I wanted to show you guys when it comes to Robin or the Hood. So yeah, if you want to give this game a go, go ahead. Might be worth your while, might not. But it's out there, it's available and it's playable, so... If it's your cup of tea, who am I to hold you from it? Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Over now.